hello everyone i am bj thapa and welcome back to my channel today i'm back with a new episode of our food order website with php and mysql and today we will work on displaying summary data in our dashboard and i have already logged in in our admin panel of food order website now we will work on displaying the summer data in dashboard okay so let's go back to our visual studio code and we will open our index.php uh, which is our dashboard so when i open the index.php here you can see uh, details like categories 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 so if i go back uh, we will display uh, categories at first and in second we will display uh, let's say uh, foods so how many foods available we have ods foods and here uh, we will say let's get total orders orders or the rs orders and uh, revenue generated last one will be revenue reve uh, -E -E revenue generated okay so we will calculate all of these things i refresh so five categories foods total orders and revenue generated so let's go back and here uh, at the first one which is categories here i will open php and open php and here we will calculate total number of categories in our uh, database okay so here i will create uh, sql query dollar sql is equals to uh, select select uh, all from tbl underscore uh, e g o r category and then we will execute query execute query so here i will uh, get so execute i will call it as sql query query and execute query uh, to execute we will create dollar race is equals to my sql i underscore query q e r by query here will pass dollar connection and then we need pass uh, dollar as qel and then we will just count the rows uh, count count rows and we will call dollar count is equals to uh, my sqli underscore norm underscore rows and here uh, we will pass dollar race and this count value will be the total number of categories okay so here instead of file uh, five we will just display psp uh, here it will be echo dollar count okay that's it let's save it and go back to browser and let's refresh i uh, refresh uh, now we have five categories i think we have five categories let's go to category and let's see so in total as well we have five categories and we are displaying uh, the five categories in dashboard as well so let's go to food how many food do we have we have five food as well in food also we have five in category as well we have five so i will delete uh, one category now if you go to home now you can see four categories now let's display the total number of foods as well so for that i will just copy this php code copy control and c and here in foods i will uh, space make some space and here i will paste that code i'll push it inside and here uh, in sql we need to uh, create sql2 because sql is already above so here sql2 this will be rest 2 this will be count 2 and here we need to pass rest 2 okay and this will be php and then uh, echo dollar count to let's save it and go back to browser i'll refresh and this is foo food is foo because over here we need to change so this is tbl food now let's save it go back to browser and i'll refresh now this is food okay so if i add go to foods and if i add a food I will just click on form pillar and I will say active as no add food and if we go to home now we have six foods okay so this uh, this like this we can 
see or we can view the summary now let's work on total orders so same as before we will also uh, go to total orders here and here i will paste it and press enter and let's push it inside and this will be sql3 res3 sql3 res3 count also 3 and here instead of tbl category this will be tbl order okay that's it now let's display count 3 here so php and this will be echo dollar count 3 that's it let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's go back to browser and let's refresh now we can see total order three order if we go to order page we only have three order so that's it we can see the tbl the total orders as well now let's work on displaying total revenue generated till now so for that we will use aggregate function so i will write the code for that as well so here instead of just copying and pasting i will create the php and again i will put it down and here let's as before create sql query uh, to get revenue total revenue revenue rev and is generated for this we will be using aggregate function 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 in sql okay so let's create dollar sql4 and here we will call it let's create a sql query sql or not sql select and we need to use sum and here uh, we need to pass uh, the column that we need to total or uh, generate the sum so if we see uh, we will generate the sum of this total section so let's go back so we will pass dollar total total in sum so we need to add total and we'll get this value as uh, total let's say t-o-t-a t-o-t-a-l from tbl underscore order okay so that's it now after that we need to uh, execute the query and then let's create dollar race 4 is equals to my sqli underscore query and here we will pass dollar connection and dollar sql 4 that's it and after that we need to get the value so get the value for that we will create a dollar row dollar row i will create dollar row 4 is equals to my sqli underscore fetch underscore ocsoc and here we will pass dollar race 4 okay and finally we will get the total value that we uh, are getting as total so we need to get now this value okay so we won't be getting this column name now we'll, we are getting this total as this total okay so here i will create uh, get the total revenue so for that i will create dollar uh, tot total underscore revenue is equals to dollar row and i will call it total okay so t o t a l total we are passing this and here i will add semicolon that's it now here instead of five uh, we will display total revenue okay so go back the uh, php and then echo dollar total revenue that's it let's save it and let's go back to our browser and let's refresh the page and here now you can see total revenue generated so what our this query has done is it has calculated the sum of all of this total so it has uh, added all of this total and generated the total value for us okay 
so this is the beauty of uh, knowing the sql queries so if you want to learn sql queries and databases then i have a course on database i'll put the link in the description so that you can learn basics of databases and sql query for free okay but uh, this is not the actual revenue generated because if we see the status not all of this food were successful so when we finally deliver the food then only we generate the revenue right so we need to uh, add where keyword as well so from tbl order and we will add where and here i will guess i will add status status is equals to delivered okay so g l i v e r a d so this is the true revenue okay so when we deliver the food then only we generate revenue that's why we need to check where status is equals to delivered okay so let's go to our browser let's go to our dashboard and i'll refresh now this is the actual revenue generated okay because if we see in our database this is delivered so only delivered is 16 we can see 16 other one is this is cancelled so number three is cancelled so this is not our revenue and this is on delivery so this is also not our revenue so if we but if we change our status from order like on delivery to uh, if we change it to first uh, let's i will display the summary in new tab so for now we have 16 as revenue generated if i change its status from on delivery to delivered and click on update order now it is delivered and total our total price total is 20 and 16 so it's our total revenue generated must be 36 so i'll go to our dashboard and i'll refresh now our total revenue generated is 36 okay so let's add dollar sign as well so i'll add dollar sign after s1 here i'll add dollar sign let's save it go back and i'll refresh now we have a dollar sign as well so this is how we can generate simple dashboard using php and mysql okay so that's it guys we have successfully uh, completed our food order website with php and mysql so till now if you have any confusion then please let me know in the comment below but if you enjoyed this whole course then please 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 uh, share this uh, tutorials with your family and friends i need your support and this channel also needs uh, to grow so i hope you will share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you on next tutorial series i will be creating more advanced courses on php as well as python and django i hope to see you on new course as well till then stay safe take care see you soon bye bye